Welcome to our React tutorial. Today, we're tackling a common issue that many developers encounter when working with toggle components. Our viewer has a question about a simple code snippet where pressing a toggle button should show or hide a child component, but it's not working as expected. Let's dive into the details and see how we can solve this problem together. Okay, we're back with another tech video. Now I'm gonna go through your question, answer it, and hopefully you get the solution. Now remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me and you'll get there to that resolution. All right, let's continue on to the video. Let's start by understanding the issue. In your code, the active variable is defined outside of the parent component. This means that when you toggle it, the parent component does not know it has changed and therefore does not re-render. To fix this, we need to use React's state management. We'll replace the active variable with a state variable using the useState hook. This will allow the component to re-render when the state changes. Next, we will modify the handle click function to update the state instead of toggling the variable directly. This ensures that the component re-renders correctly when the button is clicked. Finally, let's see the complete updated code. The parent component will now correctly show or hide the child component based on the button click. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To create a toggle component in React, manage your app state using state and props. In the example, a parent component initializes state with an active property set to true. The handle click function toggles the state. The render method conditionally displays a child component based on the active state and includes a button to trigger the toggle. Alternatively, you could use force update to force a re-render, but this is strongly discouraged. Instead, stick to using set state for managing your component's state. And guys, that's it. I hope this video has helped you to get you through to that resolution you needed. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit subscribe. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.